Pythagoras said, only reason is immortal. The golden ratio, also called the golden mean or golden section, is the aesthetically perfect proportion. In patterns in nature, the golden ratio operates as a universal law, in which is contained the ground principle of all formative striving for beauty and completeness in the realms of both nature and art, the spiritual ideal which permeates all forms, cosmic or individual. Since antiquity, the golden ratio has been used in architecture, painting, sculpture, design, and music. Of course, it is all but irrelevant to modernists, because beauty and proportion are not relevant to them. In nature, the ratio appears most notably in the spiral arrangement of different plants and seashells, even in the number of petals and flowers. It is also found in the proportions of the human body. The golden mean was first written about by Euclid, who studied its properties, including its appearance in the dimensions of a regular pentagon and in a golden rectangle in which the smaller parts all relate to the whole. The Parthenon, for example, contains a multitude of golden rectangles, as do the sculptures of Phidias that adorn the structure. The Greeks were very conscious of using the ratio to achieve aesthetic design. This power can be sensed in the statues of Phidias that have survived, even broken or in fragments, because each part is equal to the whole and harmonious in its own right. The Great Pyramid of Khufu in Giza which is another example of an ancient structure that has used the golden ratio in its design. It is easy to see why it was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Describing the ratio as golden and divine is fitting, as it is seen by many to be a gateway to a deeper understanding of both beauty and spirituality. In Plato's dialogue Timaeus, he distinguishes between the physical world and the eternal world, and the physical world changes and perishes and is the object of opinion, an unreasoned sensation. The eternal one never changes, therefore it is apprehended by careful and studious application of reason. Timaeus suggests that since nothing becomes or changes without cause, then the cause of the universe must be a demiurge, or a god, referred to as the father and maker of the universe. And since the universe is fair, the demiurge must have looked to the eternal and perfect world of forms, or ideals, as a template creating order from the state of disorder. And in this dialogue, he alludes to the proportional relationship of the golden ratio to this ordered universe. Plato says, For whenever, in any three numbers, whether cube or square, there is a mean, which is to the last term what it is to the first, they will all of them, of necessity, come to be the same, and having become the same with one another, will all be one. Understanding and appreciation of the mystery of the golden ratio is the first step to the reclaiming of true art.